This is the Mark and Terrence Show. I'm Mark. I'm Terrence. Welcome to the show. How do I set up gift certificates? To sell gift certificates in your store, you need to create them as specific products according to the requirements which I'll outline later. To start, in the admin, you need to create a new category in your catalog and call it gift certificates or your own variant. Now, you'll have to create a new product, and within this, you will set it up just like a regular product, setting dates available, manufacturer, and, and give it any name that you like. Now, your product's not free, not call for price, and it's up to you if you price by attribute. Though that you can combine your attribute outlined in other videos to create only one item for your gift certificate. Obviously this is a non-taxable good. You do not need the shipping address because this is a, a credit a virtual product and you want to use the special product slash download combo or no shipping rules at all. and add a description just like you would for any other product. You're going to have to have a quantity and given, given that you can have unlimited, just put a large number or however many you want to have available at any one time. Now the product model must have the word gift in uppercase in order for this to work. So you can have gift and then add whatever else you need. I use 100 to signify the $100 gift certificate. Add an image if you like. URL, wait, there is no wait so because this is a virtual product. And then do your preview and insert. Now you need to actually make sure you can have the capacity to give gift certificates as a product. To do this you are going to want to go to your modules and order totals and you want to look for the OT underscore GV in this column here. Now mine's already green and indicating that it's on so I'm good and set. But if it was red or yellow you need to click install and set it to true so you'll be able to use this product. Now on your cart, you should notice your new category and your new product. And this works just like another product. So you just add it to your cart under any user. And check out the same way you would normally. Now obviously we put virtual products so it's free shipping because there is no shipping. Agree to your terms, add anything else and continue checkout. You will receive an email notifying you that there is a new purchase. You need to check your email. You, as an admin you will get your standard delivery message. On your customer side, they should receive two emails. One email indicating that they their purchase order, as well as another email for their gift certificate, which will indicate that the funds are not immediately available for security reasons. Now you as a cart admin will have to authorize this transaction. To do so, you need to go to the either from your home page or from the gift certificate slash coupons menu gift certificate query and you're gonna you need to select the gift certificate in the queue and you need to hit release gift and uh, now remember gift certificates are like cash and the only way to edit this after you confirm 
is to do a very mo very messy modification of your database or delete or disable your user, which uh, will get people mad. So make sure they paid for it. <laughs> to check your customer's current credit with your store, you need to go to the customer menu and find their account. Now all their credit will be under the gift value balance or GV. Now the one we purchased was zero so it only has zero but another user here has a hundred. Now when they check out they can use this towards their purchase and, and they can add additional certificates to add to their balance. A user customer can check this in their my account section. This will there'll be a little box with gift certificate account and your current balance remaining. Once a user has purchased a gift certificate, they have the option to send part of their credit to another user or to a friend.